Welcome guys, today I will show you quickly how to cut up the mesh in Unity using Blender. It's very basic Blender skills, so you do not need any prior experience. Download Blender right now if you don't have it, just Google Blender and download, it's free. I'm gonna use the lightsaber from an earlier video as a sword, but you can use whatever you like, that does not matter. Uh, like and subscribe and if you have any issues or questions ask me in the comment section and as always the full project and all my projects are available for download at patreon.com you find a link in the description let's go so open up blender start a new general project and then you can remove the cube now import fbx and import your model i have a mix ammo model right here now go into edit mode if you do not have all the vertices selected, do select all until it looked like this. Now go for the bisect tool. Hold the mouse down and you can select between knife and bisect. Select bisect and make the cut. This is where we will separate the mesh. Now go to select. Go to select loops. Select loops inner region. And now we have selected the mesh we want to cut off. So go to mesh separate selection and now it's a separate object altogether and if we go back into object mode we can now move it now i move the full model ctrl c to undo select the arm and we can move only the arm now set the origin to geometry so that we get the pivot point at the arm instead of at zero 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 in world position now move the arm out a little bit and now we want to make it look like it's been cut off by a lightsaber. So I'm going to select all these vertices, Control b to box select. Now I'm just going to drag it together to make it look like it's been fused and cut off by something hot. Gonna move it in and just like that. Now, while having selected only the arm, export FBX. Make sure you click selected objects and mesh. Name it. I named it left arm cut. And now it's exported. So control C to undo and place it back at the original position. Stop here so it still separate meshes. Just like that. Select all. Export and now we're exporting the full Girl Scout model. Just like that. Now let's import both of them to Unity. And drag them into the scene. And there we go, that's the arm. So I'm gonna name it left arm. And as a child of left arm, let's use the arm cut and place it, you know, just around where the arm is. This is not, don't have to be exact. Add a rigid body to the cut arm. And add a script called detachable to the original arm. This script has three variables. Mesh renderer, a game object which is the new body part and the rigid body of the new body part. In the start function, we populate all the variables. To get the body part, the copy of the body part, we do transform.getChild0, which will be the first child, in this case, the left arm cut. We get the rigid body from the copy and we set the copy to not be active. Now, when it's hit by a lightsaber, we turn off the mesh render to hide the original arm, we set the new arm to active and we add some random torque. We need to add a box collider to the original arm. I'm gonna make, place it uh, right where I want to make the cut. If you cut this up more, you just do more colliders. So whatever collider you hit, that's where the cut will happen. Make sure there's a capsule collider that's trigger on the sword and a rigid body and the correct tag. 
add a rigid body to the cut arm and now we're good we can cut it off Shop. how cool is that now you can of course make as many cuts as you want as you want if you want to be able to cut off hands and heads a part of heads and all of this you can just keep doing the exact same thing we did here and you can slice anything up as much as you like thank you for watching guys take it easy